Hello, 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 and welcome back to Bishop Chapter again. Um, I'm just going to let this speak for itself before we dive in.
a little bit janky. Um, <laughs> I noticed a few things that I still need to go in and fix, like the door animation stuttering for a few frames. Um, there's also a missing widget that should have come up uh, to show the keys for the pause menu and in the inventory. But, uh, I mean, yeah, it's come a long way since the last video, definitely. Uh, today's video is just going to be me basically taking you through some of the code, the blueprints behind the first puzzle, which you saw with the, uh, the rolling balls going into the basin to add up the weight in order to open the jail cell. Um, the most recent thing I did was programming all the sounds. I hope they came through all right on, uh, on this recording. I did do a test before I started recording, but... Uh, We'll see how it went on the final thing. Uh, there's also some lighting issues, um, which you can see right there, and which you can see in the room. And those are basically down to the models being kind of placeholder for now. Uh, none of them are unwrapped, so the issues are caused by overlapping planes and faces on the models. Uh, so that's something that I will fix eventually, I think. Uh, the next step will be texturing the room, the first room, um, unless something else comes up. Uh, there's, there's still a few things I'd like to fix and get sorted, but uh, yeah, we had like some nice opening tiles, got the music playing. That was in-game, by the way. I didn't put that over the top in, in post. And once we get back up here... We shall continue. So you can hear that machine generator sound coming in there. It's also binaural, so if you're wearing headphones listening to this, you'll know what I mean. But it's switching ears. I've had, had to also program in some extra things to account for people messing with the machine after it's solved. So now it's just nothing. Door status is unlocked and so the buttons literally do nothing. Uh, the panel is not meant to be so different to the wall. Like this wall is basically just black right now. Uh, it's going to be like a wallpaper texture, I guess. And this is going to be the same texture, but it's also going to be jutting out a little bit to the point where at the right angle you can notice it. The basic thing I intend for people who start this game blind is that you look around the room first. You do everything except try the wall panel to get out of here. You know, you try, the, try clicking the door, try clicking the window you look at this machine it's you know it gives you nothing else to do but look and then eventually you discover the panel and thus the puzzle begins so yeah you saw me pick up the bishop chess piece which I think I talked about last time which will be placeable right here I've also added the, the comic page collectible which was up there uh, it's still a work in progress that programming behind that but it shouldn't be too hard to do there will be drawers in these that will be interactive you can open them and there'll be stuff in there uh, <laughs> extra touches as well I guess uh, being able to spin the globe I think would be pretty cool no practicality to it at all so it's purely an afterthought but this lever still works um, yeah, it's really, it's hit and miss, this animation. I think it's just on the edge of the range where sometimes it jumps for a frame. It's annoying that I did it on the run where I was recording because it's not doing it at all now. Ugh. Well, anyway. So, when you come out of the cell, 
the intention is for you to be basically trapped in this area for a while. I mean, finding this lever is not really a puzzle, but it's also not something I want to be that obvious. I want the player to find this console first and foremost. Because one of these orbs will be lit up and there'll be three cables coming from it which the player can then follow back to the starting room and see that the cable actually plugs into the puzzle and then it doesn't take a great leap of logic to then put two and two together and figure out that the puzzle being completed is the light on that and that there are two more required uh, so well, yeah, when you're trapped in this room then, I'm hoping people find the chess piece to introduce them to the collectible system. Uh, I want people to realize that drawers can be opened. And then maybe people will actually put the chess piece down on this and see that this is some kind of assembly for the collectibles. And then finally, they'll discover this. The comic page is going to be less obvious. You know, because most people keep the camera at about this level. So you can see that the top part of that column doesn't really come into it until you're in the corner. Or this corner. So it's uh, it's also to introduce the, the fact that those collectibles are going to be a bit well, a bit more well hidden. So, let's exit out of this, and let's jump into some code, after a quick look at the map. I've painted on the grass, the mud, and the rock. It's kind of stylistic. It's not really, it's not HD. But I think it does the job, at least for what it'll be. I'm also aiming at some point to get the sky to not be so middle of the day. I want it a bit more like uh, dusk. Or, uh, or night time, who knows. <coughs> Right, got some tabs open at the top. Let's start with the level blueprint. So it's all kind of straightforward things. Uh, this is the trigger for the credits. So when you step into this little box here, it triggers all this stuff to happen. So it will add the opening credits widget and it will also begin the music. I think that's in another blueprint. First person character maybe. Yeah, it's down here. So we'll play the song, then 35 seconds later, it'll play the nature sounds you heard in the background, the birds, and maybe that didn't quite get picked up. It's fairly quiet when it's max volume, and I've, I've reduced the volume for this recording. Um, yeah, we won't go too much into that, yeah. So what I want here is for a way to reduce the volume of the ambient noises when the player is inside a building. So you saw that down here. So I've got triggers inside the rooms. See these green lines. And while the player is in them, I want to set that they are in a building. 
and then that's tied to this. I can't remember where I referenced it, but essentially it'll set the volume of the ambient music, but unfortunately despite it being on an event tick, I've got to set to do once so that it's not just a wall of sound of this one track being started and restarted every like delta second. Um, so I'm going to have to figure out a way to do this in a way that's, uh, yeah, that works. Down here is something I made using a quick tutorial. It was a way of making things highlightable, so getting that white outline around things when you look at them. Uh, it uses the line trace that I think I've talked about before. And I very vaguely understand what it's what it's doing is it's using using a lot of nodes that are new to me. But essentially it's taking the location and the direction of the camera. And it's tracing for objects and then it's returning a confirmation or a denial on the interactivity of an object and then that then splashes back to this array called interactable which I then tag in different um, blueprints for the actors <coughs> And then anything with this tag comes up with a white outline when it's being looked at. There are a few more pieces to this scattered around different um, blueprints. But maybe we'll come to that if I find it. A lot of this is default. Just comes with the uh, first person map. So I've unplugged loads of it. So there's no firing. No jumping either, wherever that is. It's there. Cool. Um, pause menu, you saw that. Uh, input action pause game. I've bound it to the P key, as you would. But I only want it to be possible once the opening credits have played. So I set that somewhere. I think it's oh, you know what, it's so chaotic on this map. Might be in the trigger box, I'm not too sure. But essentially it works, so it's somewhere. Uh, when the opening credits have been played, uh, when the game is paused, it actually pauses it. And then I've simulated that then into these. So, <laughs> I was gonna have different two different pause menus depending on the status of how much you've collected. Because I wanted one menu that was resume um, inventory quit and then another menu that's resume inventory gallery pages quit so as the the reward for finding all the collectibles you could browse the pages themselves a gallery of concept art and stuff like that but it's not really it's, a, it's on the back burner uh, we've got a lot of animations then to get the pause widget to show up and then hiding the mouse and showing the mouse obviously when it's paused cool um, then begin play it's just what I've been using for creating all the widgets, so the HUD, the pause menu, the inventory. And then I've bound the inventory to the I key. 
and I've got a similar setup for that. Have the opening credits been played? If so, open close inventory, which is this down here. And it's just your standard kind of menu. Open close then. Uh, this is the quick code for unlocking everything. Uh, you saw that from the keypad in the pause menu. So that's this one. So this is the first puzzle itself. And there's not much code behind it because most of that code is in the, the button. Which I'll show you now. So this is saying that it's all feeding back to the text display, this part. So if the balls target balls which is default at 7 if it drops before minus 1 before below minus 1 uh, then it sets it to be out of balls and then it also does a similar thing for the player character because that's tied to some code and uh, then that relays to somewhere and then this is the, the same thing but kind of it's taking the target weight, target balls, and it's feeding it back to the text components, which you can see right here. Text, text. Got a nice glow effect on it. I used another tutorial for that. Didn't really work amazingly well because it's italic. So this is button six. There's a lot more code in this, so it's, the, it's that bottom single button to confirm everything. So, when you interact, it checks for a lot of things. So it checks to see if both of the things are zero, the weight and the target balls. If it is, then it freezes play for the player which we did brush over here but I didn't go into it um, it's up here disable input delay enable input So what this is essentially doing, I'm trying to think what the balanced one was. Did we set balanced anyway? I think it's set in here. No, it's set somewhere. But essentially, because of the way the animations go, they take a few seconds to play out, and I didn't want people being able to smash the buttons and spawning loads of balls or interrupt interrupting animations that were already playing and then just bugging out the entire puzzle so when a button is pressed it freezes for two and a half seconds oh I see so okay so this is for when it's zero because I want when it's balanced and you press the, the final confirm button I want the player to be able to turn around to see the jail door opening rather than having it freeze but if it's not balanced then yes it's there's a delay because I don't want the confirm button to be spammed uh, next plays this little animation of the button being pressed and within that animation is also the sound so I'll show you that now so it's right here so I'll have to disable the cover. There we go. So there's the button as we play it. You can see it presses and it plays the noise. So lovely. That's what plays here. Set it to play. There's a two and a half second delay, then it stops. 
then there's another delay and then it loops back to this whole cycle again to be interacted with again so it basically sets it so that you can only press the button every five seconds uh, so it'll only respond to you pressing it every five seconds otherwise it does nothing and then what it's checking for down here is is the puzzle already solved if not is everything equal to zero if so then we'll open the door so that's the animation for the door so let's find that one I won't go through all these I'll just do some of them because there's a lot to get through There you go. So that's the animation that plays there. Six second delay before it pauses the animation because otherwise it just resets and the door is closed again. So we need to pause it while it's open. <laughs> and then it does the bookcase swing at the same time. So you'll notice that when you start the game, uh, the bookcase is blocking the the path to the console and then when you've solved the puzzle it closes to block the path to the rest of the map until you can figure out how to open it again and then it also freezes the player from being able to do anything <laughs> I do that a lot So, yeah, that's that. It's the HUD widget. So, basically, this is the HUD that you see the whole time. There's a text block up here for when you pick things up. And this arrow is constantly here. And there's also this that shows up, which was meant to show up when I was showing you the demo earlier but it didn't for some reason so I'll have to go in and see why that is but anyway the code for this uh, it's all basically the, the text what's related to the text so we're casting to the player who holds all the the variables for if the chess pieces are collected and then what we're doing then is setting it for the context of the HUD for five seconds and then removing it otherwise the message just doesn't go away so the, bis the bishop message if it's collected and it's true for five seconds this will be displayed in the top right corner and then the same again for everything it's not complete yet but give it time opening credits what are we looking at here why is it down there yeah, it's just that I didn't tell us to bishop chapter nice little fade in then a remove from screen animation which, because it starts on the screen, brings it down. Uh, not a whole lot of code for this. Just basically, I explained before that to get things to not look horrible, you have to play the animations backwards at lightning speed. So I've got to set to a thousand each. Otherwise, they when they start, they start on the screen for a frame, and it's just very horrible looking. There's music started. That's where that's referenced. Play characters variable. So this will be when you walk through that trigger box outside the door, it tells this whole thing to play. And then that's when this string is played. So then it's just bringing all the HUD. All the, the credits HUD. And then it's removing it at the end when it's done. Great. Uh, console button two. So this is uh, each of the other buttons 
for the puzzle looks like this essentially like this but with a few things changed it's only the sixth one the bottom one that looks different so interacting tell it that's pressed and then it freezes play delays sets it unpressed then it plays the animation of the button pressing along with the sound a little delay for that then stops it so it can be replayed is the door open no then we'll create another ball so this is where I covered my tracks of players going back in and messing around with the buttons once the puzzle was solved so balls will only come out of the machine if the puzzle has not been solved so then this triggers the ball animation so for example the wood ooh, the wood one these ones were I'm quite proud of how these turned out let's do the wood one so there's a lot of audio going on here so you've got the there's the machine noise let's drag this back the machine noise the ball comes out hits the metal with a tap starts rolling and then flies off hits the basin with a thunk so if I just play that out <laughs> it's <laughs> not the best animation but I put them together pretty quickly and they look fine because you're only looking at them from this angle anyway they're pretty convincing um, And then the collectibles is what I'm currently working on for the comic page. Um, if I show you the, the bishop one, actually. <coughs> get rid of the string now. Let's print string. So essentially, what you're looking at here, when the bishop is interacted with, it sets bishop one collected which you know ties into the display at the top right in the, the HUD uh, it sets the players chess pieces collected variable plus one and then it destroys the bishop because obviously once you've collected it it can't be there anymore and well I mean yeah that's that's all my progress since the last video it's Looking at it, it doesn't look like a whole lot, but I've been working on this loads. Like, it's been basically all I've been doing, apart from my work job. And yeah, I'm super happy with how it turned out. It's basically as I planned. Because, I mean, I d I'm not amazingly experienced with Unreal, but... When I came up with the puzzle, I didn't think too much about how I could program it and just thought, you know, I could probably make this work. It's all kind of using a lot of code that I've basically used before. And yeah, it's uh, a bit complicated. I had to get my head around a few things, but it came together. And the puzzle works. Works a dream. I'll look at it one more time. <coughs> Panel comes off, listen, you hear the noise. Lovely. The buttons press. So I'm flicking my mouse, but <laughs> you can see the delay on it from where you can't move. I think it's that long. Uh, I've got this nice display on here. Releasing ball. Releasing ball. Lovely. You can see to the right the numbers going down every time a ball hits. Nice. I've pretty much I've I've screwed myself into having to do this every time I want to test something now. Even if it's like when I was testing the um, the opening credits coming up. Every time I wanted to test it, 
I'll have to go through this again. So I know this combination by heart now. Uh, I could have made it easier for myself and just kind of removed the door for a bit, but I don't know. Whatever. Then enter. Lovely. Buttons do nothing now. I just want to get all these models fixed. This room looks actually nice. Just look at these horrible black shadows. But anyway. That's that. That's me. I tell you what, while I'm here, let's try and fix this... Uh, Try and fix this HUD. Why didn't that thing come up? Where's that trigger box? Yeah, that's the viewport. Where's the open credits? Was it in there? set opening credits played and then in the HUD here look opening credits played true and do once and that's it that's the animation that didn't play So it's got to be to do with once you've collected the bishop. You do once. Display the bishop message. But then this shouldn't need to be reset because it's an event tick. So it should be falsing everything else. And then truing this once the credits are played. Like this is literally, I've this has worked like this before, and it's been fine. It was only an issue when I played the demo for you just then. I was absolutely raging when it didn't come up. Uh, let's do this. I really should uh, organize these a, a lot nicer. I mean, it looks fine the way it is, I guess. Like everything, you, you know, you can understand it. It's all the same string, but for each of these. But it just looks like. <laughs> Look at this. Looks better like that, maybe. It still looks awful. Absolutely awful. Okay, let's do a quick run through then, and see if it works. Three, four, five, three, four, five, and three. So the two is in there. I think it's a wooden one. It's in there just to kind of confuse you. The one is rubber, it resets the whole puzzle, if you were wondering. Okay, so, if I try it without collecting the bishop. I 
When I get to the top of the stairs, it should say my name. And then when that fades, it should say the title. And then when the title fades in the bottom left, you should see the controls. Let's have a look. No. No, why? Why? Um It's in the hut though, isn't it? Like I've, I've opened all these windows now. <laughs> and I'm totally lost. All this comes up just fine. But then it's when it gets to here. That's what I mean by screwing myself with this puzzle, like every time I want to test something at the end, I have to solve this thing. Feel free to skip forward. This can't possibly be interesting for you. See what happens. So this comes up fine. This comes up fine. Give me the controls. So the the print string registered. print string registered which means that it did this it wouldn't have done this if it hadn't done this first so uh, 
No way. Oh my god. End my life. You know what? I'm gonna keep that in. I'm not even taking that out. Whatever. There it was. <laughs> it came up. You saw it yourself. Um, yeah, that was totally my fault. But these things happen, you know? Sometimes you think it's a lot more complex of a situation than it actually is, when really you just haven't connected the node happens a lot more than you think but most of the time not on video anyway it's getting late that should do it for me um, yeah schedule is just out the window at this point uh, I've updated it somewhat let me uh, find it So where are we? It's the 29th right now. Work on next video, which is exactly what I'm doing. So I've modified this as of yesterday. With, well, yeah. Worked on Anubis. That was when I posted the last video. Worked on the Anubis in the room. Finished the room. Finished program Anu Anubis started the widgets. Did all the widgets yesterday. I got them all working. Uh, today, I got all the sounds in there, all the sound effects. Uh, let's put that in now. Um, yeah, ignore everything you see from this line below, it's stuff I'd love to do, that's already done, that's done, what, but there's nothing for Sabibi yet, I, I'd like to get on to doing stuff with that. But the next thing I'm going to do is, um, where are we, 30th tomorrow, begin texturing the Anubis room and fix the lighting. After that, mm, who knows, continue texturing the Anubis room. I mean, I'm in work tomorrow. I'm not going to have enough time in the evening to do that entire room. It's a few day jobby, 100%. But, uh, 
I'll get back to you in a couple of days then when I've got more to show. There was a lot today. Uh, I knew it'd be a long one. This has been recording for almost an hour. Uh, that's life, I guess, isn't it? Anyway, Bishop Chapter update. That's it. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.